All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some really nice pianos. They sound like this. You may have heard these in the second volume of my sample pack. They also sound really cool when you pitch them up to an uneven tone. So if we go up like 150 cents, it sounds really nice as well. So you're going to need two plugins today. Uh, you can do it with, with the FL Keys plugin, but I highly recommend you use Labs. And we're also going to be using Nexus. So you don't need Nexus for this, but I highly recommend it because it has really, really nice piano presets in there. The Labs plugin is what we're going to use for the bottom. So let's draw a chord. You're going to need that first. And of course, let's add both of these to the mixer. So let me just come up with some sort of chord progression. So we have something and then we'll work off of that. All right. So now that we have our progression, uh, there's these little tail ends on the notes here that you can see. So what I like to do is just only for the high section so you can see i'm going to leave the bottom the same i'm not going to do this for the top or other way around not going to do it for the bottom but i will do it for the top we're going to extend the end of the notes all the way out like this because that's going to create um like a sustain pedal if you will if you've ever played the piano you'll know it has a sustain pedal to elongate the notes afterwards so we're kind of replicating that All right, very nice. So now let's actually turn this into something really nice. So what I like to do is I like to add an OTT and we're seriously, seriously going to compress this like really, really strong. So we only want the bass to come through really heavily and the high end can come through really heavily as well. So you're going to see it's going to have this really sharp sound to it. All right, so that's good. That's what we want. Then we're going to turn the volume down of that and we're going to add a filter to it. This is going to give it that grand piano sound. If you go two times on the filter and then just get some of that high end out of there and make it pretty quiet, we have a really nice grand piano sound. All right, so now that we have our bottom layer, it's time to make the top. So this is where Nexus comes in. I really like to use this piano arena ambience preset. This is a really, really nice one. It kind of has this really plucky sound to it. It sounds okay on its own, but you really need to do the same thing again that we just did, which is adding a lot of compression to it. And then it sounds really, really nice. I love the way it sounds. Kind of same situation, you want to crush the mids, keep a little bit of bass in there, and then make sure it has lots of high end as well, because you really want that plucky sound. A lot of time on the compression, and you're going to get this uh, very plucky sound. And so now you just need to go through and you need to write a nice little melody. So we're in the key of F sharp, so we'll just write something very simple, something lullaby-like <laughs> in that F sharp key, and it should sit very nicely on top of this piano. All right, so I wrote our little melody, and so what I'm going to do is uh, essentially the same thing we did on the other one where we take the high end of this stuff and we just elongate it so that it has a really nice sustain sound to it. So uh, there really isn't that much structure when it comes to how I place the notes. I kind of just randomly uh, place some stuff that I think sounds cool. And uh, what I like to do is then go in the velocity here, and at the start, I like to start um, lower, and then we just work our way up just like this, just... Kind of something like this every time there's a big strike in notes and do a little kind of wave pattern in there and that's going to add some variation to the notes so they're not all the same and so then we get something that sounds like this Very nice. So uh, we need to do some things to improve the sound. So one thing I like to do is to add a fruity reverb and we go with the ambience preset. Just add some decay, cut out a little bit of low ends and go half percentage on it. And you can see it has a very nice sound. All 
All right, and then to finalize this thing, we're just going to place a few more notes, which I like to go into the Nexus uh, preset that we made. We'll use that patch, and then we're going to just find some notes in the four to five range and just place them very lightly underneath, and that should complete our piano. I like to take the velocity of this note and turn it down quite a bit so you can see it's quite quiet there. And we're just going to place a few of these underneath all the way through. All right, so now that we placed our notes, we have something that sounds like this. Now that that sample is saved, you can do whatever you want with it. So we can drag it in here. Say we want to pitch it up. Like uh, usually what I like to do for my songs is that 150. That's a pretty unique sound. And uh, these these pianos have kind of become part of my signature sound. I know a lot of the songs that use this aren't out yet, but they are on their way. And now we have this lovely sample. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.